Bell's Brewery just announcing it has been sold to an Australian company. I don't want to bury the lead. Not much is going to change. That's the good news. But the Kalamazoo headquartered company will soon be merging with New Belgium Brewing. Fox 17's Lauren Coomer brings us the latest about what's going on for Larry Bell and fellow beer lovers. Lauren, I know this is maybe disappointing, maybe not as bad as it sounds. <laughs> Yeah, Julie, Doug, it is not as bad as it sounds and nothing will change like Doug said. Bell's Brewery has, of course, been a part of the West Michigan community for around 36 years and owner Larry Bell may be stepping back from the beer scene and into retirement, but his breweries are not going anywhere. I thank them for all their years of support. Um, this community has just been great to us. Bell's Brewery has been a staple in Kalamazoo, and over the last 36 years, the craft company has grown a following in West Michigan and nationwide. I'm 63 now, and I think for the company, uh, we had to decide what kind of a succession plan there was going to be, and the board of directors voted back in January to take a look at our options. That option, deciding to sell to Australian-based brewer Lion, the same company who acquired Colorado's New Belgium Brewing back in 2019. The two companies are, are going to combine, and it'll be really a juggernaut of craft beer for, for the U.S., and uh, both companies have a lot of respect for each other. I think this was uh, a really good opportunity for us, a very elegant way to exit uh, the industry for me. Bell saying the decision came down to two determining factors, saying first, New Belgium Brewing combines similar values like community philanthropy, and second, he's been doing this for over 36 years and had some health issues that made him think about what was next for the company. For the average uh, Bell's drinker, really nothing's going to change, um, you know, uh, Bells will become a B corporation um, and there will be perhaps even more dedication to some of the sustainability and social causes that we've always had belief in. Bell says its beer lovers will not see any changes to the current beers which are distributed in 43 states, including the District of Columbia and Puerto Rico. And as local breweries, they'll be sticking around too. It may be my name on the bottles and cans, but it's the people who work here really who make make it bells the sale is expected to close within the coming months and will top the craft beer market with ipas like oberon two hearted ale voodoo ranger and fat tire and yes of course for those wondering oberon day 2022 will still be happening reporting live in kalamazoo lauren coomer fox 17 news all right, good news all around. As long as we still get our Oberon and our Two Hearted, I'm okay with it. Yeah, Oberon Day is like a national holiday for my friends and I. 